Hey, what is up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna to be doing an $1,100 gaming and editing computer. But before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by GVG Mall, an online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. So if you guys use the link in the description down below, type in code TB20, you'll get 20% off your Windows 10 Pro activation key, and then you just take the key that they give you, you type into the Windows 10 activation, and that's it, you have Windows 10 activated. We use GVG Mall to buy the Windows 10 keys for a lot of computers, like all of these computers, we use GVG Mall, and it's a very helpful resource that you can use today by using the link in the description down below, and also using code TB20 at checkout to save 20%. So let's continue this video. All right guys, so what we have right here is an $1,100 PC that we are making for our friend Luke. Hello, Luke. Uh, we made a PC before for him in the past. If hit the eye in the top right corner, it was a really high-end Threadripper PC. And he's okay. looking to get a secondary computer for uh, video editing when he's in between his uh, living quarters. So uh, this PC is gonna be really awesome. And we're going to talk about some of the core components that we used. So of course, this being the key component, the processor, we have an 3800X right here. This thing is going to be a monster for editing. And it's still on the non-Threadripper side of Ryzen stuff, so it's still reasonable priced and everything so he's gonna really like this for editing now we also have to give a big thanks to Montech a new case and power supply company that reached out to us and we wanted to work with them on doing a PC build they sent over one of their cases RGB fans and power supply which we will take a look at in just a second but let's go ahead and talk about every part a little bit more in detail so as mentioned, this is the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. This thing is a monster, and I know a lot of you are thinking, why not go with the 3700X, because it's cheaper? Well, right now it's only like 20 to 25 bucks cheaper, so we might as well go with the big dog here. For the motherboard, we decided to go with another tested and tried MSI B450A Pro motherboard. This is a really good B450 motherboard along with the ASRock board that we always use. We decided to go MSI this time to kind of help better match the color scheme, and we know that it'll work good with this processor. And also the fact that it's full size, it'll fit really nicely in this mid-tower case. And also from MSI, we have the AMD Radeon RX 5700. This is not the 5700 XT because we're trying to keep this a little bit budget. He is a video editor. And so of course, we didn't really need like the maximum graphics we could get in this. We really just wanted a lot of cores that are very strong. So 5700 X is still a really good graphics card, but you know, it'll get the job done. Now as for RAM, we have some Corsair DDR4 16 gigabytes, 3000 megahertz RAM. These are two sticks. This motherboard does support four sticks. So as a video editor, he most likely will want to upgrade this 16 gigs to 32 in the future. We're just getting them started. Uh, but Corsair makes some really high quality memory, black neutral color scheme, nothing too crazy. And also it comes in at a very nice price point. As for storage, we have a crucial M.2. This is the MX500 500 gigabyte SSD. Now we love M.2 storage because one, it's fast, and two, it removes the uh, need for a uh, SATA cable or SATA power cable to basically add to that cable clutter that you don't want in your PC. So it's definitely a really good option, especially because they're basically the same price now as your standard uh, SATA based SSD. So. And they're not square. Now let's talk more about Montech. This is their Gamma 650 watt 80 plus gold power supply. Now, this thing comes in at a price point of $40. Now, that's kind of crazy for an 80 plus gold power supply, especially with how the pricing is right now. Uh, one thing we did notice is this thing has some ketchup and mustard cables, which Eh, in a 80 plus gold power supply, you know, we give, you eh, know, it's whatever. But this thing right here is going to power the system with more than enough wattage. Um, and we're gonna make it look nice with a key core component that we're gonna show you here in a minute. Speaking of those key core components, uh, these are some uh, sleeve cables from up here. They're basic white sleeve cables. We're gonna add a nice uh, touch to this case. Most of the components here are black, so having the white cables will allow them to stand out and look kind of cool inside this case. So um, that's gonna be a nice touch, especially when you get a power supply that has has catch with mustard cables. Now Montech also sent over their Z3 ARGB fans, which is a three fan pack that has like a white fan design and they're also RGB, which could play well, really well with these uh, sleeve cables. But we're gonna go ahead and install these inside the case, which Montech was nice enough to send over. This is their Air 
900 ARGB, which has an RGB light around the edge, which you'll see at the end of this video when the system's all put together. And this thing comes in at around $60, which is a very good value for a case like this, being able to support a full liquid cooler either in the front or on top, um, and has a power supply basement, which looks, which looks pretty nice. So overall, pretty impressed with this case so far. We're gonna go ahead and build in this thing and give you all a better idea of what we think of this Montech suite of products and how well this system performs.
All right, guys, so as you can tell, this system performed very well, actually. The Ryzen 7 3800X is a great processor, especially for the use case. It's gonna be primarily used for video editing, but it is definitely no slouch in gaming, especially paired with that RX 5700. It's a great graphics card. Now, you could get a reference model card if you do so choose to copy this build. We just went ahead and get with this one because it was a little bit cheaper and readily available. And some of the non-reference cards are really hard to find right now. So just getting your hands on this and the fact that it's really not that bad to get the 5700 in reference. The XT is the one that would benefit more from a custom cooler, but overall this build turned out pretty well. So as far as the new Montech stuff that pretty much just hit the market and hopefully more to come, the case is actually really good. This is being a $60 case with a nice tempered side glass panel and all this room for expansion like fans and coolers, you know, AIOs, whatever you want to do. Um, there's a lot of room for expansion. So the case, we don't really have any complaints about, especially at the price point, but the power supply on the other hand, you know, it's 80 plus gold, which is great. Hopefully it actually is. I mean, I, I, I mostly believe it. it. The power supply itself looks good, but the cables being a mustard and ketchup, I mean, it's kind of, you know, for $41.99, it's not terrible. Um, having like the 80 plus gold is like a trade-off of having the mustard and ketchup, but if it was me, I'd rather spend like an extra, you know, 10 to 20 bucks on one that has like wrapped cables at least or individually um, sleeved cables. You know, that's kind of the trade off with it. So it's up to you guys to decide that one, but it's really quiet. I mean, the power supply is not gonna blow up or anything, I don't think. So that's a, that's a good start. And the Montec fans actually look really good. I, at first I was a little bit hesitant paying $30 for a three pack when you can get like the up here five pack. Um, but this has a lot of modes on it. Unlike the up here ones where it's like, really basic static or just RGB. These have all different types of color changing modes and even like dual RGB modes. So that, that's another trade off for spending a little more. So overall, Montech has some good offerings for the money. Budget stuff is always our favorite. So we always like to take a look at stuff that brings a lot of value for your dollar. So definitely if you're interested in a build like this or any other build in general, check out some of the Montech stuff in the description down below and also all the other parts in the description down below because if you do use those codes or links or whatever they are down there, you will support the YouTube channel. So if you like us, help us with the money. So we hope you got, no, I'm just kidding. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to thumbs up, um, like, click the like button, subscribe, uh, follow, and yeah, you know, we'll, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.